this is a recreational vehicle. It's built with integrity. If you buy a product from us, you will probably sell it for a lot more money later. 99% of our dealers are resort owners. Norwestern Industries, we are the manufacturer. So what is the Norwester Industry Park Model RV? Why is it a good investment? And how can you make monthly income by just owning one? It all began right here on the Southern Oregon coast at Whales Head Beach Resort. This is a perfect example of how you can purchase the Park Model RV, put it in a rental pool, and let the staff at Whales Head take care of everything else. Of course you can live in it full time, after all, it is yours. If you're an RV resort owner, Whales Head is a prime example of how you can incorporate the Norwester Park model into your existing resort. I spoke with Bob McNeely of Norwester Industries and I asked him, what is a park model RV? We build, now build a recreational vehicle that looks like a cabin, but it is certified as, a, as an RV. And that's, and that's what you see up uh, on the hillside here. People can either rent them nightly, weekly, or you can buy one, right? Yes, uh, one of our slogans uh, uh, that we try to put up is uh, you can buy me or you can rent me or you can buy me and rent me. And it, it's, uh, it's been a real win-win situation. Uh, you can buy it, you put it in our rental pool, we rent it out for you. It's been a great thing for people to uh, invest in, uh, both in cash flow uh, as far as monthly is concerned, as well as a appreciation in value. And what I really like about Whales Head is you can either have a cabin down at creek level where you're just completely covered in forest with next to the little creek and, and enclosed, or you can be in the middle area, or you can be all the way up here at the top, which the view up here is just, I mean, you can almost see the Brookings. And you're right. Uh, from the bottom, uh, C12 to S5 is absolutely day and night. Whales Head is located between Gold Beach and Brookings, so you're kind of a halfway point. You can beach comb, you can check out the creek, You've got lots of hiking trails around here. You've got a full restaurant and bar. Yep. So, I mean, you never and, have And to the leave. hiking trails. When you say we have hiking trails around here, it's not like we've built little trails for people to go for a five-minute walk. Wow. You can walk for 16 miles. Oh, you can hike uh, to Brookings or Gold Beach. Gold Beach, here. right here on, <laughs> on, on, on paths that have bridges across yes. the creeks. Yes. That have been manicured. You have all of the different little beaches between Brookings and, and, and Gold Beach. And of course the Rogue River is a very famous river if you're fishing, if you're uh, uh, jet boating. Right. Um, uh, and of course just a few miles south we have the gorgeous Redwoods, right. which uh, I mean you can actually leave Whales Head and in 20 to 25 minutes be looking at a tree that may be 18 feet in diameter. Right, right. Um, you know it's, uh, it's a special place. It's a great place, and I think everybody that come, comes here probably falls in love with it and ends up coming back and, again and again, yep. and maybe even buying a cabin. <laughs> That's right. We buy cabins, uh, we sell cabins, we, uh, we rent cabins. So uh, we think location is uh, the priority number one for any destination type resort. And our weather uh, and the wonders that Curry County has in Brookings, uh, as well as that view that I'm looking at right now, will tell you this is the right place. last summer and this winter, we were able to go to your other resort, which is Hyatt Lake. Yes. Hyatt Lake Resort. And we were able to, in the summertime, be on a boat in the water, fishing, hiking, doing fabulous mountain biking, anything we want to do there. And then in the winter, I love what you've done with the snowcat. I loved yes. going out in the snowcat and never having to get wet if I don't want to in a nice heated luxury mobile and we actually carved our own trail for the first time and it was exciting. <laughs> yes it is. You know uh, that that is another one-of-a-kind resort and it is high enough in the mountains that when winter comes it's not just cold it snows. It's amazing. We're only at 20 some miles out of Ashland off yeah. of Interstate 5. It is a wonderland in the summertime with fishing and lakes and boating and biking and 
uh, to the winter time in the ice skating and the snowshoeing and the cross country skiing and the snowmobiles and and we have uh, restaurants and bars yes. and and you can fish <laughs> off of gorgeous platform boats or our little 12 14 footers with a little eight horse motor on the back yeah. of it but when you come to Hyatt Lake not only can you stay all day but you'll stay all night That's and have right. fun too and uh, where else in the wilderness just up above Ashland can you come and have your own private little warm, cozy cabin, complete with a kitchen and soon to be hot tubs? Uh, they have two with two restaurants, so I'm hungry. Let's go pick a restaurant and eat. The Lodge at Campers Cove welcomes you in from the outside. The restaurant serves breakfast, lunch, and dinner seven days a week and features a full bar and panoramic views in the winter and summer. Across the way is Hyatt Lake Resort with a homemade pizza barn and ice cream parlor. Both properties feature the Norwester Park model and are a perfect complement to each other. I visited two other resort locations that feature the Norwester Park models, Lewis and Clark Golf and RV Resort in Astoria, an Oregon Coast town full of character. The resort places the park models around a nine-hole golf course. High in the Cascades is Willamette Pass Inn and Chalets, surrounded by mountain lakes, great skiing, and the high desert, as well as Fort Rock. It's easy to see these resorts are all in great locations. But what about the park models? I traveled to the factory in Chehalis, Washington to watch these Norwester Industry Park models be built from the ground up. Terry Lynn, this is where it all begins. Uh, without the product that comes from Norwester here, like all of these other projects that you've seen, Wales Head Beach Resort, uh, Hyatt Lake, Campus Cove, Willamette Pass, Lewis and Clark Crossing, None of those would happen uh, without the product that we uh, build and manufacture right here out of Chehalis, Washington, next to Interstate 5, uh, the Norwestern Park Mall. Uh, everything starts here. This was on the floor this morning. Uh, we lay out everything down on the concrete floor. Uh, you'll notice that all of our deck area here is all pressure treat lumber. And all of our other lumber is not only dry kill lumber, but everything is 16 inches on center. We put a very good vapor barrier underneath it. And then underneath the vapor barrier, if you put your hand under there, is a real hard mesh. Uh, but everything starts right here. Uh, we can start three at a time. And as you see, we have three of them here just about ready to move. So as the product is, is made here, uh, you can see that uh, everything gets squared up here. And also you can see our Aquaplex water lines. Uh, these water lines are guaranteed not to break even if they freeze. Wow. Um, and all of this, will be insulated from the bottom side and the top side. And all of the pipes will actually be sandwiched um, uh, between the insulation. Um, and as you know, uh, it hasn't froze up up there in the mountains at uh, Hyatt Lake. No, and if it was going to, it would have this last time oh, we were boy. up there. <laughs> yes, we've had temperatures up there right around zero. Yeah, oh, I uh, believe it. And five feet of snow. Yep. What they've done here, they're gonna bring in one of our frames, which we also build here. I don't know how many manufacturers do uh, build their own frames, but you know, when you need a frame, you need a frame. And the best way to obtain it is to build it yourself. And so consequently, the normal six inch or eight inch high beam frame uh, is not big enough for us. Our product's too heavy. This is the same as a concrete foundation on a home. And how many times have you people uh, said, you know, you'll never have anything without a good foundation. And that really is the truth. Uh, that's why we build our own frame now. It is always square. It is level. It is straight. We know the, the actual steel being used is of, of a very good grade. Uh, and we can build the size of the frame that we need in one day. It's not only double 10 inch frame, but we've overlapped it, uh, gee whiz, probably around 20 feet. Uh, here at the end, we put in a middle I beam frame. We do this. You can put an eight by eight foot hot tub on that, and it is absolutely not going to hurt anything. This is strong enough to handle anything that you could probably possibly build on. 
and the frame's gonna, they're gonna back it right underneath here. They're gonna set this down, pull these blocks away from it, and that'll set down on the frame like you see right next, next to us here. Uh, that unit is actually ready to be pulled out, uh, the one on the other side of this one. All of the walls are built, and it's ready to make its first move to the next building. When the, when the units come from where they start, they'll come into this building. Uh, one of those units will come in here just as soon as one of these gets moved down. Uh, but all of the uh, siding is done here, the roofing is all put on, the windows are put in. Uh, it's made completely weather tight. Uh, the electrical uh, starts here, uh, and uh, then as we move through the plant, it'll move too. Uh, you'll notice that everything is 16 inches on center up in the rafters, uh, rather than 24 inch. So many of your older mobile homes, even though that they may be in relatively good shape, you'll see the wrinkling in the roof lines. And we don't want any of that 20 years from now. So uh, we uh, put everything 16 inches on center and sheet everything with uh, good old Brookings, Oregon plywood. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Here they're getting prepared for the siding and as you can see everything is trimmed with 2x4 cedar. Uh, we'll end up uh, trimming the windows and, and here you can see all of the edges are, are trimmed out. Uh, this really helps keep the home tight. It also helps uh, structurally too in, in several different ways, uh, both up and down but uh, sideways as well. We, uh, we use Milgard windows and we have for years. They're, they're one of the finest windows and we're the window of the year in the industry for, for many years. We have uh, three different types of roofs. We have two different types of comp roofs in this uh, room. And we have one of our uh, snap lock metal roof. And it's uh, a very fine product and uh, a very fine product used out in the recreation area where there might be fire. Uh, metal and cement doesn't burn near as well as wood. And right here is cement siding. Right there is real number one western red cedar without any knots or nothing in it. And boy, I tell you, it's close. Uh, both are a tremendous product. When we know that this is going to a place where they're going to build an add-on, we put this little ridge on it. And we put this little ridge and we box that out because that's going to be all open going into a 240 square foot living room. One that is 15 feet by 16 feet. And uh, by doing the roof design this way, when the carpenters get this on site and they build a room on, you will never know that it's added on. It will absolutely look exactly as a stick built home would on a concrete foundation. Once uh, the unit leaves where we were just at in building number two, the windows are put in, the roofing's all put on, the siding's put on. Uh, it's all sealed in and weather tight. We don't care if it rains or snows or hails or sleets anymore. It comes over to one of our bays and our finish department. And it's no different on this side of our, our uh, manufacturing plant than the other. Everything is hand done. Uh, we build all of our own cabinets from scratch. We're very proud of having our own cabinet shop. It's not necessarily one of the things that we wanted to do because it really is easy to call somebody up and, and have your cabinets made. But we have so many people that want something a little bit different. They, they want a cabinet that's two inches longer or an inch shorter. And if you don't build your own cabinets and you offer that service, it's just a mess. And it's a mess, we've tried it. We build our own cabinets, it works. Uh, when we're ready for cabinets, our cabinet man goes right out to the unit, measures it up, and it's right every time. And also, we build a fine cabinet. Uh, here, we're going to get ready to go inside uh, our spray booth. Uh, these guys are modeling these up. This is cedar, and this will probably be used to go in the, ce in the ceilings of a lot of the loft models. Uh, you guys put two coats on? Yeah. Uh, two coats, because we do all of our own sheet rock. And we don't use any of the hot mud. Um, it's actually uh, put up, sanded, sealed, painted, and etc. just like you do in a real house. A lot of the inventory and stock that you've seen down here has um, uh, all been uh, situated by serial number so that the orders and so forth with our customer, they're getting the right color of appliances, they're getting the right type of appliance, they're getting the right color of countertop, and, and so forth.
Because when you when you uh, purchase a cottage to be built, this is things you have to discuss with the, the buyer, is every little thing, right? Well, yeah, there's two ways you can buy. You can buy a unit that's already built in one of the resorts. And of course, the resorts right now that we're working with are, are Willamette Pass Inn on Highway 58. It's over at Lewis and Clark Crossing. They call it the Crossing by Astoria. Uh, Whales Head Beach Resort, Brookings, Oregon. Campers Cove out of Ashland. Uh, uh, and also Hyatt Lake Resort on Hyatt Lake, which Campers Cove is on Hyatt Lake too. Um, and then we have a lot of other uh, developments that take our product yeah. uh, throughout the Northwest. Yeah. Wow, that was quite a tour of the Norwester's industry factory. Clearly, it is a product of quality that is built to last. So how does the park model fit into an existing resort that is only zoned for RVs? When our product leaves here, it can only have 400 square feet on the bottom floor. And if it's bigger than that, it's not a recreational vehicle anymore. But various states and various counties within the eight states that we do business uh, allow additions. Oregon allows 240 square feet. Um, and we build the home quite differently when we know that 240 square feet is going to be added on compared to when it isn't added on. Uh, one of the things we do is make the bedroom bigger because we can take it away from the living room area in the park model because the add-on room they're going to build is the living room, so we don't need it. We can make everything else bigger. This is a recreational vehicle. Uh, so when we're done, uh, you can actually take this to a, a resort, uh, your own property, um, or wherever it may be, and you can hook it up with a recreational vehicle hose, and you plug it in, just like you would plug in a recreational vehicle with a 50 amp four pong plug. Wow. Uh, so yes, we can deliver this and somebody can stay in it that evening. Wow. And for people I know who also want to set up their own resort, you work with that as well? Uh, yes, we do. Uh, we'll take it from start to finish. Um, you know, really, there's there's five different people involved in, in our projects. There's a manufacturer, there's a dealer, there's a resort owner, there's a customer that comes to that resort, and then there's always a bank that finances somebody along the way. And it really takes all of those people to be successful. Norwester Industries, we are the manufacturer. The second thing is the dealer. While we do have dealers, 99% of our dealers are resort owners. And we show them how to become a dealer so that we don't need the street dealer. The street dealer that sells the product is not the person that we want selling our product. We, the person we want selling our product is somebody that's going to be in, involved in the use of that product. I was pretty dubious about getting into this at all because it's a whole different thing up here. We've got snow load for roofs, we've got insulation things, you've got, we've had several days here this last winter that were 10 below. So what we have is a, you better be built to handle this. So when I found out about Norwester, I went up there two or three times and looked and watched them build them and watched the plans and watched them pretty carefully before I started buying them and moving them in here. This last winter we had several days in a row of 10 below and we had no freeze ups, no problems. Wow, so because of the chalets, it allows you to create this yes. resort, yes. doesn't it? Yes. You had the land, you needed the It's chalets. not exactly camping. No, it's not. <laughs> go to the Kelly Blue Book, go to the Native Blue Book. You will not find our product in that book. That's because most all of our people, and I'm talking way above 90% of all of our products, and, and, and probably quite a bit higher than 90%, sell their used product for more money than they ever paid for the product here at the factory. Uh, our, our product at Whale's Head has doubled, tripled. And we're one of the few that it's a real win-win situation. If you buy a product from us, you will probably sell it for a lot more money later. I've heard that. <laughs> uh, and in the recreational vehicle industry, it, 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 everything goes down in value. Right. Uh, most of them go down thousands, in fact, tens of thousands of dollars when you drive it off or pull it off the lot. Yeah. And ours don't. Yeah. Uh, and the reason for that is it's built with integrity, uh, with blastation, and it won't physically depreciate. You know, if you go talk to a realtor uh, or a broker or, or any, anybody in the real estate business, for many, many years, it's always location, 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 location. Well, the resort business is absolutely no different. Uh, you can buy my product in, in the wrong place and it's not a good buy. You, you need to buy my product in the right place. The right product in the right locations. 
one-of-a-kind resorts offering investments and monthly income potential. The Norwester Industries Park Model RV. Find out more by visiting the website norwesterindustries.com or by calling 1-800-346-5701. I'm Terry Lynn Calhagen. Thank you for joining us.